stuck in a Mythbusters part three. Can you give us a third preconception about greyhounds that is almost laughable? Well, the, another one that comes to mind is that people often think that they don't bark at all, which um, does get us giggling because greyhounds bark. They're just like any other dog. They're not a very yappy dog, but they do definitely have the genetic ability to bark. Um, especially when, when they're in the kennels and they're very talkative to each other. But yes, while they're not um, a, a, a yappy dog, they certainly can bark. And what about, should we mention perhaps the greyhound howl of death, which is, you know, when they stub a toe or something, yeah. you know, back into something they didn't expect to be there and cry so loud, you're pretty sure they're about to die until you give them a pat and realise they're absolutely fine. You can hear that in most vet clinics when they have their nails trimmed. And this is even before you get to the nails, the screaming starts. And it is so, it's just dramatic. It's a dramatic Oscar winning performance. When they really do injure themselves, you don't hear a peep. But um, little things, it is. The greyhound scream of death is an actual thing. <laughs> and I think it's probably, it is a, a bonus for most people. We do, you know, people probably think they don't bark because you don't hear it a lot at all. So for people who, you know, live in a park, apartments or live in sort of residential areas where you know other homes are closed it is a bonus that they are generally pretty quiet dogs yeah yeah they are they are pretty quiet um the only time that you ever really hear from them is if um they're hungry they want to be let out to go to the toilet or if they see a neighborhood possum but they're definitely not the type of dog that barks at the postman they like postman <laughs> <laughs> isn't that right trev he agrees